I have just found a new autonomous coding assistant that is quite complex. Introducing Codal. Codal is a fully autonomous AI agent that can perform complicated tasks as well as building projects using terminal, browser, and your editor. Just take a look at this demo video, which is going to showcase how Codal is able to automatically update dependencies in code. So you can see that it first starts off by cloning the dependencies after you got the prompt, which is to update dependencies in the front end folder using yarn in this repo. And this is the Codal repo. And afterwards, once the prompt is received, it focuses on navigating to the front end directory. It lists and the, all the contents of the current directory to the to the find correct path to the front end folder and it navigates into the codal project directory to list its contents and it finds a front end folder and we can see that afterwards it navigates to the front end directory within codal's project folder install the dependencies using yarn which was the prompt that we had given it and then we can see that now that the dependencies are installed i'll proceed to upgrade them using yarn and then we can see on the right hand side within your terminal it has installed it using yarn you can browse it and there's going to be code that's going to be coming soonly. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Let's take a look at another example where we're creating a tic-tac-toe application in Python using Codal. So this prompt was given. You can see that Codal then creates a new directory for the tic-tac-toe project and starts moving into it. It creates the main Python script for it. It develops the code. And then afterwards, we can see that it has then deployed it into the Python script folder where you can then access this tic-tac-toe app, which is functional. And you can see that it has created this small little short app within a couple of minutes, which is really cool to see. Now, Codal is actually able to do a lot more, and it's something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. So definitely stay tuned as I showcase how you can install it, how you can get started, what are some things you can do with it, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight to it. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business, or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Codal. This is a fully autonomous AI agent that is designed to assist you with complicated coding tasks. It's also emphasizing on project development, which lets you create prototypes for software. Now, it operates seamlessly across your terminal, your browser, as well as your code editor environments. There's a lot of cool features, and firstly, this is probably one of the main ones where they are able to emphasize on security. You're able to run the sandbox within a Docker environment, which is ensuring that you have security for your code as well as your data. It has autonomous functionalities, which basically allows the AI agents to automatically detect the next step in the workflow and it executes it without manual intervention. You have a built-in browser, which fetches the latest information from the web, whether that's tutorials, docs, or blogs. It also has a built-in text editor which views all the modified files in your browser. You have all the history commands as well as outputs that are saved in PostStretch SQL's database. You have automatic Docker image picker based on the user task. It's self-hosted and it has a really good UI. Now, what we're going to be doing next is showcasing how you get started with this because it's super easy and I truly recommend that you try it out if you have Docker installed. So how do you get started? Well, it's actually fairly easy. You just need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled. You need to make sure that you have the latest version of Node.js as well as Docker installed. Once you have that, you need to also make sure that you have an OpenAI API key ready. This is by going to the platform.openai.com slash API keys website 
once you are here, you can generate your own key, add a billing account that's linked to the API key so that you can utilize the models that are provided from OpenAI. So once you have this API key ready with the functional uh, billing that's linked to it, you can then install Docker. Docker is gonna be used to host this platform so you can easily get it installed for your operating system. Once you have Docker installed, you can then proceed forward with the installation. So what you want to do first, if you're on Windows, you want to open up your command prompt. And once you have opened up your command prompt, you need to then copy this command. Now, I know this is uh, bulked up into like multiple lines. So what you would want to do is go over here. You want to paste it in. You want to take out the backward slash because we're on Windows. But if you're on Mac OS, you can then keep it. Uh, you just need to get rid of these backslashes <laughs> once I've done that I can then replace the open AI API key between these parentheses so I'm gonna now generate a new key once I have done that I'm gonna simply copy it go back over here take out the parentheses as well as your open AI AI key and you can then paste it in once you have done that you can then simply just copy this and you can then open up your command prompt what you want to do next is just simply paste it into your command prompt and then click enter this will start creating the image as well as the containers. This will take a couple of seconds. And once that's finished installing and downloading it, you can then access it on your local host. So you can go back to the repo. They have a link to your local host, which you can just simply copy this and then paste it into your command prompt. So now that we have this new container created, you can then simply open it up on your local host and you can see that I can start chatting and working with it. So you can see that you have the terminal, the browser, and the code section, which is going to be coming sooner or later. And you can see that you can create a new task. You can start chatting with it. So here is the dev behind this project. I've actually talked to him and he has done a great job in developing this project. It's something that can automatically detect which Docker images to use. It runs commands, detects any errors, and tries to fix them based off the context or the code base that you provide it. There's also ability to have it generate code and there's various things that you can do with it. And the goal behind this project was that he wanted to develop an open source Devon alternative. And we can see that there's many different open source Devons that are becoming more prevalent in the space. And in this case, this is definitely a great tool that will be really beneficial for a lot of people. So I truly recommend that you take a look at this link in the description below. I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video there. So make sure you check that out. This is something that he's going to continue to work on. I've talked to him and he gave me a good, like brief idea as to what his roadmap is. So definitely give him a follow. Definitely check out this project. I'll leave all the links to it in the description below. And with that thought, guys, make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you check out the Twitter page. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.